What's up everyone? It is February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I've been up since 8 just studying for my midterm, which is in 20 minutes. It's at 11 o'clock. Just about to head out the door. Day 17. Got a busy day today. Got to hit legs right after this midterm. Got to study a little bit more tonight. Got to get ready because I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Victoria. Let's see what else. Yeah, not much. <laughs> not much has been going on. I haven't been really, I haven't been able to manage my stress really well this term. And I think it's because I do a lot of my work at my desk, which I didn't used to do. I don't know, I just get kind of like cooped up in my room when I spend too much time in here. I used to study like outside a lot, but because I need to eat so much, it's just easier if I study here. So yeah, maybe I should make an effort to like pack some food and then head out because I don't know, I get really like, I don't know like stress just sitting at my desk. I find my desk is too small, so. All right, let's do this midterm, and then I'll catch up with you guys later. Back from the midterm did not go great. I don't know, I just felt like really slow and lethargic, and like every question would take me just a little bit longer to understand, and I kept second guessing myself. And it was only a 50 minute exam, and there was like four long questions, so run out of time. I really had this like I had this bad like brain fog too. That was what I had when I had my concussions back in high school. So it's never fun that would ha when that happens. But I think the important thing now is one, I'm going to stop worrying about it. Two, during my workout, I'll come up with three things that I can then do that I can do to improve it next time, and then I'll just stop, you know, stressing about it at all. So yeah, just you know, reflect on it, move on do better next time but it's time for legs so last week you guys saw me hit a new five rep pr of 225 now this week the program had a heavy set of five and then also a heavy set of three after that now in hindsight and hindsight's always 20 out of 20 um, my legs were definitely a lot more sore this week and tired after the run but i still for the five rep i loaded up 225 and it went uh okay you can see i i did it did feel harder than last week and when i was doing like the warm-up sets like 185 i was like ooh, yeah this it's, it's gonna be a little bit tough today but i was like you know what might as well just see just just give it a go so I did 225 for five reps you can see there loaded up the bar with 245 and i'm like i'm gonna hit three this is gonna be so easy go down to the bottom right here and it's like a super tough rep. It's like my one rep max. In fact, that is my new one rep max. So I took three minutes off, thought about it a lot. Then I was like, okay, uh, maybe try 235 for three reps. Um, first rep, going pretty good. I was like, that's not too bad. <laughs> like, let's just try another one. Go down to the bottom and... I just, it just won't go up like I just get stuck at the bottom and you have to do the walk of shame where you crawl and then get over the bar um, so the session was not going great you can see right there rip my shorts um, but we, it, I was like feeling really tired I did not eat the eggs for breakfast because I just like couldn't study oh no I couldn't eat because I was stressed for studying um which is something I have to improve. Like I have to make sure that I'm eating, like no matter what circumstances are happening. Um, the program calls for a hack squat, but there's obviously no hack squat machine here. So I do the Smith machine, but I do it like with my legs a lot more further out and um, doing it the opposite way that I usually do with the incline. I don't know, it's actually pretty difficult. Like my legs are really tired, especially when you do like over 12 reps. I don't know, every rep feels pretty exhausting. After that, moved on to, <laughs> look at that, look, me looking into the camera to make sure my, I'm in frame. Um, we're doing some box step-ups. I actually really like these. The the box, I think it's the 45 centimeter box height. It's like the perfect one where it's like a, a good stretch for me. Um, but it's like low enough that I can still reach it. I think I was doing the 30 pounds here for eight reps. I do one leg at a time just to isolate it and to get more of a burn going. But yeah, honestly, like 
after those couple failed sets, I found it really hard to push myself um, to the point where I like barely got a pump this session at all. Ending the workout with some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts because the weight's not super heavy. I'm just spending like more effort trying to make sure my form is good, making sure I'm getting a really good stretch at the bottom Um, because otherwise it's pretty much pointless if I just kind of rip through them too fast. I think I also did some good mornings, but I didn't film that. Again, I was just feeling really tired. Wanted to get the session over with. It's not the great men- not a great mentality, but when you're really tired after the- those failed sets, I don't know, it can be kind of hard to get motivated, especially when you're alone in the gym as well. And my music was not hitting. I was just getting annoyed with it. All right, we're back from class. I meant to give you guys an update from before, right after the workout, but I get back from the gym take a shower and then I have like 20 minutes to eat. Now that should be more than enough time, but I eat so much food that I have, and I'm always late for class because it takes me 10 minutes to walk there. So I'm done at like 2.45. I need to leave in three minutes. So I don't usually update you guys right after, that's why. So I promised I would talk about like a reflection on the exam that I had today for my econ class that did not go well. Like I said before, I just felt like very groggy, very lethargic. I felt like every single time I read a question, it just took me like too long to understand and I wasn't, you know, making the proper connections. And so there's a couple of things I uh, will do next time because there's nothing I can do now, obviously. One, I need to redo the class examples and not just like look at the solutions. Two, I need to rely on the formula sheet. I was kind of trying to remember, like memorize everything. Turns out I didn't need to do that. So I wasted a lot of like mental energy trying to remember the formulas. And three, I need to just start from the principles that I know, because often I got like mixed up with concepts. I just need to like look at this, look at the formula sheet, and then just go from there. Because um, I like I made mistakes that I know I shouldn't have made, which is really annoying because it's like during the heat of the exam, you just kind of start writing stuff, and then I was like, after I was like, why did I write that? I know that's obviously wrong. And I spoke a little bit about like the brain fog. Pretty much in high school, I got a couple of concussions. Ever since then, I've had some issues that come and go. It was really bad in like second year, but it's been really good. But when it comes, I like kind of fall apart. The brain fog loop goes as this: like I feel off visually. It usually starts with like my vision, then I can't focus, then I get stressed because of that, then I worry about my head, and then it just loops back up to. I feel off visually. It's like a cycle that I go through and it happens when I'm really stressed and when I can feel that I'm like a bit more tired than usual, like I was this morning. So I just kind of wrote some stuff like reflections about that. Pretty much I always have to remember that I never get brain fog when I'm like calm and collected. It's usually only in like really stressful environments when I'm really exhausted. So it comes from within. So if I'm always calm, then I feel like I shouldn't be dealing with it. That's just kind of like one thing I'm trying to apply from the meditations book that I read, Marcus Aurelius, a couple of videos ago. But yeah, so that's kind of like what happened today. I feel a lot better right now. So we're just going to move on and keep going forward. First, we're going to edit the video, then I got to do some homework, and then we're just going to you know work on some other stuff. Laundry is done, video is uploaded. I'm filming a TikTok at the same time, so that's taking up some time as well. But we got some dinner, kind of like, you know, like a raccoon rummaging in the fridge trying to find like what to eat because I'm leaving tomorrow. So I'm trying to make sure that I like eat all the stuff that I don't want to stay for a week, which means the dinner looks a little bit more sad than usual. But yeah, eat, homework. 9 p.m., still at the desk. Homework is done. I got a bunch of food in the fridge that I need to eat. So I made a big upside down dinner. Is that what they're called? Breakfast for dinner, upside down breakfast. Anyways, just a lot of eggs, some sausage patties. It's gonna be good. 10.30 now, I've lollygagged way too much this evening and I have a ton to do tomorrow, starting right at six. So I have to make sure that I'm up at that time. So this is me trying to hold myself accountable by saying it to the camera. But time to read and then get to bed.